What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Raw back with another video. If you're new to the platform, thanks for being here. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. On the road to 25k subs by the end of the year. Let's get it. Like the music that you hear, click the links. They are in the description. All right, so we have another foreign testimonial. And I believe this is another Filipina, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or am I wrong? Oh, no, I take that back. Vietnam. Okay, then. Vietnam and back in the building. That's what's up. I'm like, Vietnam starting to, like, creep up and pop up from time to pop his head from time to time again. Let's see what it's about. All right, so he starts off with, bro, my middle name is Jerome. Ah, right, that's funny. So my first name is his middle name. All right, so it's Angelo Jerome. Okay. Say, my name is Angelo. I consider myself one of the OG passport bros. I got my passport back in 2015. My first overseas trip, however, was in 2017. I flew to Vietnam to meet a lady whose cousin was my co-worker in Little Saigon, Westminster, California. I run security for four commercial properties, 15 buildings, okay? My fiance, Nia. Oh, okay, it's just spelled different, okay. Interesting, an interesting way of spelling it, okay. Nia is 19 years younger than I am. I am 57. Oh, wow, so that makes her 38, wow. One of the reasons I am confident about our age difference is that years ago, I dated a local Vietnamese woman who was 30 years younger than me. Boy, did she ever keep me busy. These nuts. <laughs> with, the, with the wink eye emoji. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excellent. So he was clapping him. Yeet. So I know, let, yep. me, let me stop, man. Y'all know, y'all know I be acting up, man. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, seriously though, the thing about these women is that they are taught to be good wives. Psh, man, boy, that's that that that's that that's become a common theme that I'm hearing a lot. Hmm. You know what? Let's keep it a buck, man. If you if you say this to these modern women over here in the West, they're gonna say. They're gonna say no. She's just trying to be a slave. They, 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 they're gonna find some way to try to flip it and, and shame it. That was pathetic. It's like it's like women are trying to redefine everything. Have y'all noticed that? I know that ain't. I know it ain't just me. So let's continue. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, I had to get that out. They aren't taught to be strong, independent, successful corporate women in their culture. A profession is not what's important family is and you know what's so funny man men have gotten to a point where they're like look it ain't the fact that we're intimidated by women who got money whatever the case may be it's just that it's it's made y'all lose sight of what's most important that's all it's just made, it's, excuse me, fellas, it's made women lose sight of what's more most important. I'm like, no, like, notice how I corrected myself right there. I'm like, I, I need to start doing that more often. Because clearly, because clearly talking to women is like talking to a brick wall. At least most of them anyway. Anyway, I cannot tell you how flummoxing it was. Oh, I'm sorry. It is to have a hot 21 year old tell you how she's excited to cook for you when your wife of 15 years always looked at it as an inconvenience. When I was married, I did most. My bad, you guys. I had to take a deep breath on that one. Let me tell you all something, because I know somebody who's going through this right now. And for real, for real, it bothers the hell out of me. Because I know somebody who's in a marriage, makes six figures, still has to do all the cooking. You know, I could dig deeper, but I'm not even going to waste my time, man. Let's, let, let, let's continue, you guys, man. 
My my bad, you guys. My my bad. When I was married, I did most of the cooking because I was a better cook. And the USMC taught me how to clean, so I was better at cleaning the house too. Okay. But see, here's how I know there's a cultural difference because I've heard I've I've heard quite a few men say when they're in these other countries, women get upset when they try to um uh, when they try to help clean. But you know, it is it is what it is. Anyway, now my fiance Nia expresses even more desire to handle all the house chores. Funny I literally just said that before I started reading again. You can't make this shit up. She wants to give me I more time to manage my work and side hustles. Bruh. You win. Reason why I'm laughing is because this is a prime example of what exactly Kevin Samuels was trying to tell women to be to their man. Help me. That's that's literally what he's just. Let's continue. I've been to Vietnam four times. Saigon is hot as French toast. <laughs> but I love it there. People are welcoming, friendly, and curious. I remember during my first visit, Nia picked me up at the airport in a grab taxi. It's like Uber. And took me to my hotel. She had her small suitcase with her. We went out to eat and have a few beers and I had authentic Po for the first time. Unfortunately, I got hit hard by jet lag and I needed to get back to the hotel and sleep. I totally tripped out when she changed into her pajamas and got in bed with me so I wouldn't have to sleep alone. Wow, that's dope. Excellent. Wow. During my second visit, we stayed with her parents for a week. I entertained countless relatives who all stopped by the house to meet me, from nieces and nephews to maternal and paternal aunts and uncles. I went out drinking with her dad, uncle, and cousins, and I drank everyone under the table. <laughs> I ended up having to carry her dad home. He was so wasted. <laughs> like, yeah, because he was probably trying to out-drink you. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. And then, surprise, the day before I left, her parents hosted a big party for me. Wow, women came over in the morning and they cooked all day. Cousins drove to town for beer and ice. Auntie set up the tables. Wow, all the men sat down and their wives served. Bruh. When I read stuff like that, I just be like, good God. I know any woman that's watching me or hearing me read this, they're going to be like, they, they did what? Yeah, they did that. <laughs> uh, How dare you? This is a good time to use the um, Stewie sound clip right now. Wait a minute, what the hell? All the men sat down and their wives served the food. We sang karaoke and everyone lined up to take pictures with me. It's not often that you'll see an overweight Vietnamese woman. Nia keeps herself fit. She has natural hair and she gets her hands and feet done because she knows I like that. She has nice curves, but I can literally lift her over my head. <laughs> I put on some weight during the pandemic, but Nia doesn't nag me about it. She reminds me to go to the gym and eat healthy so we can have a long life together funny man because I just did a video about that and it was a woman get trying to give another woman backlash because she lost weight for her husband but you never did never did stop to think about the health factors you know maybe she did it because she wants to be in her kids life and her husband's life as long as possible but you know it's, it's just easier to look at it negatively to try to um shut people up because we live in cancel culture now anyway from time to time her emotions get the better of her and she comes to me for mental support i'm always there for her emotionally but when she needs a swift kick in the butt i have to throw down the logic 
she appreciates it. Oh, imagine that. Yeah, they hate logic over here. Anyway, she just took an accredited IELTS exam with the goal of teaching English. I am learning to speak Vietnamese so I can better communicate with her relatives and at work. It's been an LDR for too long. A long, yeah, long distance relationship for too long. The last administration and its anti-immigration policies delayed our union and then the pandemic delayed it for another two years. We are on target for her to come to the U.S. in February via K-1 visa. Interesting fact, casting folks for 90 day fiance have asked me twice to be on the show. Oh my God, don't go on that show. Don't go on that show. I see the laughing emoji, G. Don't go on that show, G. Dude, please don't go on that show. Nope. Please don't go on that show. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, man. He said, but trust me, I will keep Nia far away from the evil sisterhood. Man, you got that right. I wanted to offer this as another country overseas that black men are welcome and appreciated. I can let my guard, I can let down my guard and women don't clutch their purses when I pass by. Ooh. That was a dig. That was a shot. <laughs> My skin color is appreciated and admired. Hmm. Hell, I literally have a photo album of Vietnamese men pushing their wives into my arms to take photos with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cambodia and Malaysia are two other countries to consider as well. I maintain YouTube channel and a blog for my love journey. Feel free to share them and the photos. Oh, okay. I was going to, let me see here, man. Cause I don't want to like give out your information too much, man. Um, let me see here. Oh, okay. So it looks like these are, um, these are his sites. You want to go to, it looks like, um, Angelo Bell on YouTube, like Angelo J so yeah, man, you guys want to check him out, man. Show him some support. Um, yeah, Cambodia and Malaysia. You know, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually um, dated a couple of Cambodian women. Cambodian women are very attractive, man. And might I say, man, Cambodian women, bruh, they it, it's something in the water, man. When I tell you Cambodian women got that splish splash, wink, wink, if you know what I mean, out of all of races and nationalities of women that I've dealt with, them Cambodian, the two Cambodian women that I was with, bruh, oh my God. Like, boy, I, I don't know. I don't know how I didn't get one of them women pregnant. Good God. Or should I say God is good all the time man y'all let me know what y'all think about this one man um uh, yo this was this was dope man I love this story um email address is in the description you guys if you have a story like this foreign testimonial um is, is put that in the subject so yeah if you guys are sending receipts please give me permission you know to use the I mean, because it, it it would it would make a lot more sense for me to use you know guys, you know receipts. So I'm like, cause plus that you know that helps shut the haters up too. You know what I mean? Just saying, man. All right. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know what I'm uploading, and hit the like button because helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.